Yo, what's up, guys? So, yeah, this is my old gaming laptop. Yeah, it was a Core 7 third generation. Yeah, pretty old at this time. It was a Dell Precision M4700. So, by default, you know, this thing is a Core 7 It comes with a 2 gigabytes of graphic card. Yeah. And then it has uh, four slots of RAM. But then I decided to take it out and put it on this on top of this K-Light and mount it outside. I hope you can see clearly. So as you can see over here I have my DVD writer but inside there is my gaming hard drive. <coughs> it's a HyperX. So yeah, it's pretty good. It's not an SSD but it's, it's a terabyte after all and it's meant for gaming. So yeah, it works fine. In there, I have my EPS uh, 512GB SSD, which is where my OS is. And under there, I have the. I have another SSD. Yeah, I don't even know what model that is. The one which is like a network card. Yeah, that one. It's a uh, 128GB. So it's down there. So down there, I have my CPU, the Core 7 third generation. I could not upgrade because the sockets are different. With the fourth and fifth going upwards, <coughs> and uh, yeah, that's it's cooler there with the fan in network card, a Wi-Fi card, uh, yeah, Wi-Fi card over there. And then my battery is over there, so there you can see the two slots of memory, eight gigabytes each, and on the bottom side of the motherboard there is two more slots. I'm not sure gonna be visible from here, nah, not at all, not at all. Yeah, anyways. Uh, so this is the graphic card which I put, it's the same as this one. I took it from my Pivo, from my Pivo which had two of these. So it total I had 12 gigs of GPU. I wouldn't know if that makes sense, but yeah, because I thought they were 4-4, four, four, which would make sense if they are 8, because they had 2. But then when I looked at this, after I installed it on my PC and I looked at the specs, both in uh, Task Manager and in uh, HWM4, it's a 6 gig graphic card. So, meaning 6 plus 6, that's 12 gig. Yeah, that was a lot of that key. And it had similar properties to this, except it could actually fit the NVMe SSD. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, what I'm going to do, I will connect the display port over there as well as with my monitor, my main one actually. Uh, properties of the display port I can know of course and then over there I have a VGA port it will be, this will be the one way it puts into like when it's booting it starts with the VGA this one's going to be activated once the OS is loaded then that's an Ethernet check and it won't work since I don't have a network card in there I don't know does it require a network card or it just works with this chipset I'm not so sure I'll find out about that then that's my eSATA USB port, uh, that's the HDMI port which I'm going to be using there. And there's my DCE chip. Then on the other side, I have two more USB ports. The other display port which I showed you, my battery is still over there. And over here, I have an SD card, a full size SD card, and LED is over there. Then I have uh, my uh, audio out and audio input so my microphone and my earphones out then this port I have no idea what it does when I google it it was talking something about this one then two more USB ports um, this is pretty much okay so I turned it from there to this so I can actually take out this screen and plug it over there and it's just gonna display fine but I just prefer to use it like this so that I can just connect monitors and I will stuff it under my desk or something like that but I, but I still have to build a case around it so that it doesn't gather that much of dust it's still gonna gather dust but you know it's wise not to make it gather dust yeah so you can see the reason why I actually didn't fit it in the case it's because the GPU itself it's, it's a bit higher it's actually supposed to end over there where there's a screw so there is an extension to the GPU so I was supposed to actually put it over the 
CPU. It's not touching the CPU. I made sure of that. And then it's over the RAM. So it's actually sitting on top of the plastic of the RAM, of the RAM slot. And then the other reason was the cooling. Yeah, I could not cool this GPU with the cooling of this one. That wouldn't work at all. So where is that cooler? So you can see these are the heat sinks which I need. The, this one is for the other GPU. Yeah, this is for this is for this GPU and then this is the one which was in the PC. So I'm just gonna keep these as they are so that when I want to, I want to return my PC back to the original state, I can always do that without problems. Then the reason why I actually put this fan facing this direction, if I put it this direction, it's not gonna do anything. So I'll put it to be blowing towards the GPU and the CPU. I, I've tested it without a third fan, it's working fine. I played Call of Duty for a long time and my temperatures didn't go anywhere above, uh, what was it, 86 degrees? Yeah, it never went above that. But the the heat pipe was getting what this side. This side, this side it was cool, but this side it was getting what. So the heat was going that side, but then it was not being dispersed out. So I will be forced to mount a third uh, fan right over there, which will be blowing towards that direction. That way I make sure I don't overheat this thing at all at all so yeah if you want to see right now if i actually press the power button this thing does turn on there you can see it's actually on yeah so i just if i had mounted this uh, display over there you would be seeing it right now so i'm just gonna switch it off for now then i will mount it inside my home then you guys can see it afterwards so yeah see you in a minute